It's a five-hour drive. Of course I'm pissed. We were never close. The old man and me. Because I never lived up to any of his expectations, that's why. Not out of spite or anything, but... Because I'm just not like him. First, I didn't move to Green Lake with him. Then I dropped out of university to try to become a cop. And then I failed at that as well. 27. Still not close to the brilliant career he had. So we hardly talk at all. And now he asks me to come over? Leaving me a confusing voicemail that makes no sense at all? Could it be he's finally lost it? Early onset dementia? <sighs> Probably couldn't handle the retirement on his own. Should have thought about that when you left me and Mom, Dad. I haven't seen a living soul on this road for at least an hour. I know Green Lake is in the middle of nowhere, but you'd think there'd be some traffic coming up the road. Hank sounded nearly unhinged in his voicemail. Better not be sick or something. I mean, he's a bit of a bastard, but he is my dad. Ah, uh, the research facility where Hank used to work. Should be a left turn coming up soon. Nearly there. We'll see what the fuss is about. What the? Where did this guy come from? Does he think he's just... Ah! Hey! What the, what the fuck? Are, are you are you trying to kill me? Shit! Shit! Oh shit! 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 Ah! Ah! Whoa! whoa, whoa! God, my head. Seatbelt. Get out of here. I got a flashlight somewhere. Shit, they're coming after me. <clears throat> I'd better hide. Turn off the flashlight. Move your ass, John. <laughs> God, my lungs are burning. <sighs> Nothing seems broken. God, where am I? Green Lake, near my father's house. <laughs> Maybe I can get there. I'm not seen. Who are those guys? Why would they do such a thing? Why? John, walk now. Analyze later. Oh no. Here comes the van again. Uh, where, where can I go? Run! The order is in. Shoot the target. I repeat, shoot the target. Hell no. <sighs> I think I lost them. Were those men wearing masks? It's some military outfit I've never seen before? Oh God, I can't handle this. Even my vision's going all foggy. This is exactly why I didn't become a cop. 
I've got to avoid a panic. I'm staying in the light, or it'll only get worse. Good thing I brought that flashlight. The research institute. Look at those lights. Wait, those men in suits talked about Morris's son. Hank worked at the institute. His voicemail. I is it connected? Is Hank okay? God, I can't think straight. Keep on walking, John. The house can't be far. house. Something's off. The lights are out. Something happened here. This is gonna be bad. Uh, okay, okay. Start thinking, John. Keep your cool. Build a case. Make a theory. Write it down. You can do this. The voicemail. Maybe it contains a message. Okay, Hank. Where are you? I'll write down all the clues and facts I find in my journal to help me keep a clear head and solve problems. Let's see if I can construct a timeline of events. Here I'll sort information in chronological order. Oh, shit. Voicemail. Um, Jonathan, this is Hank. I hope this reaches your phone. You can't rely on secure telephone connections anymore these days. Now listen, you must visit me. I need to take you fishing in the lake for some big fish. I know just the spot. It might be in the dark at first, but there's some amazing stuff to see there. It had me quite captivated these past two weeks. I've got some nice pictures of it I want to show to you. Let me think. Yes, when you come to the house, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you'll brighten up the place. Home is where the hearth is, right? You'll need to get into the groove of things. Listen to some old classics. After which I'll have you do a number of things. I've got a whole schedule laid out for you. You'll see there's more to Green Lake than you first thought. I haven't forgotten you're afraid of the night. So, make sure you bring a flashlight with you. I have to go now. I've guests coming over soon. I have to prep the house. We'll call you later. Come to me, son. Drive safely. all these letters. When was the last time Hank emptied this box? His old RV is still here. Does that mean he's around the house? Someone taped the door. That's bad. What happened here? I'm not getting in this way. Hank's old canoe. Well, at least I know he's not out fishing. A gnome. Really, Hank? A key. Must be the key to the kitchen. It's, it's dark inside. I don't like it. Part of a photograph with mom on it. In the fridge? <laughs> Seems excessive, even for Hank. from when we still lived together as a family 15 years ago. I could swear I saw it move just now. 
Oh, God, what was that? Right, breathe, John. Breathe. Remember your training? Adrenaline does some crazy stuff to the body. You're spooked, that's all. This looks like the order of a code. Oh my god, what was that? No, no. It's okay. These documents hold important information. Didn't he mention something about fishing in the lake? I'm starting to wonder if he meant that literally. This image is important. In the fireplace? Why? I'm writing this down too. And maybe all together, the things in my journal will start to make sense. again. This house is freaking me out. Come on, John. Time to find some clues. What a peculiar... screwdriver? I'd better bring it along. Recorded tape. This is Hank Morris, December 2014. I'm pissed. I want to get something off my chest. So, Barbara recently died. You know it's been nine years since I went to Green Lake and the marriage ended, but still. She was a fine woman and a great researcher. It's a waste. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. See, I've just come off the phone with Jonathan. God, that boy drives me mad. I went to all this trouble talking to Mr. Reed, uh, that's my boss, to get a job for Jonathan at the research department. Had to do some real hard talking, but made a good case. With Jonathan's background in psychology and all that, I had it all sorted out. I then called Jonathan, told him about the job, and offered he could live with me. I still have his room at the ready. But he outright refused me. He said he wants to go to the police academy, uh, become a cop instead, or, or a detective, or something like that. I mean, it's a goddamn waste of a good research education, if you ask me. And... An F you to the old man. I'm... I guess I'm just disappointed. Mom always said Dad left us behind. 
Sometimes I wonder if it was the other way around. If I look at these boxes at this angle, it looks like there's a number. A six. The screwdriver fits. Looks like there's a number here. Four. A recorded tape. Past my prime, my ass. Oh. This is Hank Morris, October 2019. I've just been sent off on retirement, if you can believe it. I've held this job for 14 years now and did it well. I'm still young. I'm only 65. They still have scores years in me. But they wouldn't let me. Said it was time I let the younger guys push the boundaries of science. Well, so now I'm stuck at home. Just me and yours truly. God, what will I do all day? I'll miss the talks at the coffee table, but I don't reckon my colleagues will come visit me. And I'm not quite the social call type myself, either. Ah, oh, boy. Well, at least I'll have more time for my research into the alien presence, Greenlight. I'm quite sure I'll be able to pinpoint the ship they are hiding on soon. Just need a little more time so I can finally prove my theory. So sure as hell, I ain't going to return the WASCOM satellite I borrowed. No siree. Before taking all my stuff from the office, I set up all my work accounts for it. Remote access, built in a little backdoor for myself. I'll be able to tap into the RICS network from here just fine. Yeah, maybe I'll do some digging into all that research of the 70s and 80s that they're so hush-hush about. Maybe I'll even publish a paper about it. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll show them some. Boundary breaking research. A bunch of dimwits. Something about crop circles. Is he into that stuff? Jeez. Oh, not touching that. It's the number seven. Reinforced door needs a code. What's in the attic? It's about aliens. Why would my dad keep junk like this in the house? This image is important. God, what was that? No, no. It's okay. A recorded tape. You'll never guess what I just found. <laughs> this is Hank Morris, July 2015. Today, me and the team were clearing the old storage rooms of the observatory to create some space finally got a new coffee station I requested. And it was about time we got Carter's own office. Anyway, 
Turns out those rooms haven't been open for 20 years at least. It was filled to the brim with all these boxes full of old telemetry sheets and research papers. I called it in at Mr. Reed's office, got Ellen on the line. She said she'd send a team from head office immediately to come and pick up the files, saying they should have been shredded years ago anyway. Do you imagine that? Throwing away all that research? I figured there could be some interesting data in there we could use to match with the 2010 signal readings. So, as quick as silver, I grabbed a box and squared away some of the files in my car just before the team of head office came in. God, those guys are rough around the edges. I just read one of the reports. It's incredibly interesting. There's actual talk in there of extraterrestrial signals. In the 70s and 80s, they recorded a whole bunch of strange signals. Now, I've had a quick look at the telemetry, and I know it's way too soon for conclusions, but those signals look very alike to what we encountered in 2010, but more rudimentary somehow. Imagine that. Extraterrestrials. My first thoughts in 2010 were, this is a form of communication. Now, why didn't they publish these records? I'm thinking of maybe bringing home some equipment from work and doing some extra hours. Oh, this is a great find. This will keep me busy for hours. Finally, something to take my mind off things. Got it. Whatever's upstairs, this door kept people out. Something in. Uh... Okay, Hank. I think you wanted me to go here. So what is it you've been hiding away in the attic? Are you here? I need more light. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, no, no. What, what, what is this? Oh, my God. It's... Some kind of freaky plant thing. Hank! Some kind of map? The location is marked. Bring remote. What remote? Is it here somewhere? A recorded tape. This talks about aliens. I should keep that in a separate timeline. These documents hold important information. This RICS looks like a major player. I'm writing them as a separate timeline in my journal. This is Hank Morris, June 2010. We've just had an unbelievable situation at the observatory. Good God, I'm tired. We've been working for nearly 20 hours straight, I think. Better make myself some lunch or, or dinner soon. First, I have to record this while it's still fresh. Okay, so it all started with Carter throwing down a report on my desk saying the dish is broken again. Rubbish data, he says. I nearly choked my coffee. It might have looked rubbish to him, but for me, it only took one glance to see something was going on. This had communication written all over it. It's in the intervals. It's in the activity spikes. They know I'm... This image is important.
reacts to light? What is it? A remote for something. Nothing's happening. It's a garbage chute. Nothing more. Okay, I've got a location to go, and a remote. It shouldn't be far from here. You better have some answers when I get there, Hank. Target's upstairs. Got him! There's only one exit through the garbage chute. The order is in. Shoot the target. I repeat, shoot the target. Get away from here. They'll kill me. They'll kill me this time. Hey, where'd that bastard go? Why are they after me? What did I do? I must be nearing the location on Hank's map. That remote control. Hey, did that red light just turn on? I'll need to cross this field. Hank must be there. But I can't let the soldiers see me. Or my flashlight. Stay crouched and turn off my flashlight. I'll improve my chances. God, I hate the dark. No. No. What am I walking into? More plants. Do I need to go down here? Best be careful where I step. God. Oh, what's that smell? <coughs> no. That's my way out. Shit. Good God, the smell. Oh, this. Oh, this isn't happening. This isn't happening. Oh, God. Calm down, John. Find out where you are. Plants and crystals are just like my dad stored in his attic. So he's been here? Hank! It's like a flower or a... 
something. It's pulling me in. No! no! <sighs> uh, I feel dizzy. <coughs> Is that H Hank? Hey, wait! Stop! I I'm here, damn it! Hank! <sighs> I'm seeing things again. <laughs> Is this place even real? Hank! Is that you? What is that? Oh god, no! Oh god! I've gotta get away! The creature's beam of light... I... I can't let it see me! Am I losing my mind? Oh god, this can't be happening! Some sort of language? God, what the hell is all this? This place feels alive. Watching me. Calm down, John. You're imagining things. Why did Hank lead me here? seems to be pushing away particles. Strange. Oh, it's wet and slimy here. Oh, God. Why me? Slippery. Oh, I can't tell if it's the effect from the car crash or if it's something in this foul air, but oh, I feel terrible. This pod is small enough to take with me. Oh, it stinks. This could be my exit. A way out, perhaps? It's not opening, though. It's in. Why isn't it opening? What is it want from me? No. 
down, John. Think carefully. This takes me in even deeper. But I can't go back either. I need to get the heck out of this place. Somehow. It's just visions of Hank. Nothing more. I... <laughs> I must be losing it. No. Hearts calm down. recorded tape. There are signs of them everywhere. I can't be imagining those two, right? I'll keep writing it all down in my journal. Find out why he's here. These documents hold important information.
This is Hank. I've found writing. It's about me. Those bastard aliens have been watching me since 2018. 2018! They saw someone making contact with the RINCS network from a distance. It must be the backdoor access to the network I've been using on my PC. Ever since then, they started manipulating me with hidden signals and subliminal messages, using me to gain access to more and more of the RINCS files. I have been their pawn all along. It's proof that I'm not crazy. They have been using me. But wait a minute. Might that be how they managed to communicate with the RINCS undetected? They're using my backdoor access? Oh, shit. Oh, God. I hear something. Distance. It's big. I feel it in the walls. This image is important. I'm... I'm all right. A trail of breadcrumbs you left, Clute. But where is that trail leading me? Creature. I must get past it. How do I get it to move? tablet has their language on it. Ugh. <sighs> 
slides right in. Okay, now what? I'm okay. One of those pods. Second, quick. No, <sighs> it's Hank. He's running away. Why? Feels so real. <laughs> God, that stuff hurts. Creatures. A a aliens? How many are there? Why are they here? God, it's like I've fallen right into a bad dream. Aliens in Green Lake. It's simply unbelievable. I, I need to find a way around this chamber. This image is important. Oh, 
God. No! <sighs> it's day 13 of my expedition. I'm using their tech to record my progress, in case of plan B. <coughs> the next chamber seems to be their headquarters, and the lower half is a cess over. It's part of their <coughs> master plan, if you will. So I'm, I'm going to disable it. I'll pull out its control pad and hide it under their noses on the top floor. It should create the diversion I need to slip into the ducts. I'm close to reaching the exit of this ship. God, another pod. Ah, oh, yuck. John, I'll make it to the exit. Somehow. This is it. Hank must have hidden it. Is it special somehow? Must be crazy to do this, but it's bound to get their attention.
This is it, son. The control room of the aliens. The heart of this ship, hidden underground. They've been observing us for decades, judging us even. Don't even think for one second. Our government doesn't know about it, because they're right here in town. Much closer than you think. The Institute. It all comes back. It's a front for a secret government facility. God! I've worked at the Institute for 14 years without seeing it. But I swear, there's a secret base underneath headquarters. Underneath Green Lake. Close to this ship. A coincidence? I think not. Well, to hell with them all. I'm getting out of here and I'll expose the truth. I've found the ship's schematics. The pipeline in this chamber will lead me to the exit. It's going to be a tricky path. The tunnels are dangerous. John, you're tracing my footsteps, meaning Plan A is a goner. You are Plan B. Listen, you mustn't fail me now. I need you to do this. <laughs> God, who's to say you're coming at all? Why would you? I'm on my own. I always have been. I am here, risking my life. But where the hell are you? <coughs> Calm down, John. Find that exit of his. Well, now the hell with them all. I'm getting out of here, and I'll expose the truth. This image is important.
pulling particles in. That's weird. Whoa, 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 whoa! Damn you, Hank! What were you thinking leading me into that? way. I, I need to hide. It's closing. What is this? It's moving? No, no, stop! Stop! Get me out of this thing! Oh, no, let me out of here! God, God, come on! No! No! Let me out! We went through a tunnel or something. It was horrible. Oh, you're okay now, John. Still on track? This image is important.
This corridor. Is this it? The exit? No! <sighs> John, listen to me. This is the exit. Know that I didn't want to put your life at risk, but I had no choice. Because if you are here, plan A failed. It means I'm counting on you to get the word out. Tell people about the aliens and the government cover-up. Now don't let me down, son. This is too important. But there's nothing here! This hallway is closed off! Oh, no. Don't tell me. I followed you all this way to a closed door? The exit you used, and then was sealed up after you left? Fuck! 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 <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. Calm down, John. <sighs> you just have to keep going. Find something. Find... Find another exit. <sighs> Better take it with me. Ugh. It's not far. It can't be far. Surely not. here I can see a strange light the... triggered these machines in the control room. It sounds like they're tunneling through stone. Where are they trying to go? I can see light. A tunnel, maybe? That could be my exit! No, it's no good. I'll be crushed if I go in. The tunnel's flooded with some sort of gas. Unless I stop those tendrils and clear the tunnel. I, I can see four panels scattered across this chamber. I need to be careful. This close to escaping this place. This seems connected to the drilling chamber below. But the tablet won't budge. Why? Does it have something to do with these symbols? It's stopping. Yes!
Getting somewhere. Not moving anymore. Well done, John. Breathe, John. Breathe. The drilling passage looks safe now. I've got to get down there and escape. Take much more. <coughs> I don't know where this goes, but anywhere will be better than here. is different. The walls, too. I'm safe now? It's the Research Institute logo. How did I get here? to him is that dad it is all this equipment what were they doing here what was that oh no they followed me
This looks like a listening post. Where did I end up this time? Looks like it leads into a storage room. It's locked. Shoot, it's gotten all the way down to here. What's it trying to do? Documents hold important information. A key, but to which door? These documents hold important information. this. This image is important. Gas X. Doesn't look like the sort of gas I know. Security pass. Sarah Wingfield. Better take it with me. What the fuck? <sighs> Breathe, John. Breathe.
access panel. It operates these big doors. What's behind them? The power was shut down. And to open it, it requires access to... three distinct security panels on this floor. Good God. Looks like a retina scanner. This is some top security shit. Makes you wonder what they're hiding in. It's a high-level security pass. It's a power generator. Why was it turned off? works one less to go this director reed evacuate all oh my situation i've got to keep saying john got to keep saying Security pass works. This one's done. Retinal scanner. It works with the eye. Ugh, gross. Never again. 
another one activated. Uh, uh, oh. This direct read, evacuate all critical personnel. This should do it. Time to get some answers, maybe? Oh no, it's coming this way! The door! Ship. What is this doing here? Are we underwater? This. Th this is a bomb. They want to blow up this facility. Why? Hank, uh, what have you led me into? It says 0700 AM. Morning. I don't have much time left. Must find a way out of this freaking mess. We're underground, underneath the lake somewhere. I need to get away from this chamber, then make it to the surface somehow. Like, about now. <laughs> it's set to explode at 7 o'clock. Daybreak. That's not a lot of time. I need to find my way out ASAP. There should be a way to the surface so this reactor is cold as well. It reacts to the light. Like it wants to break free. Well, me too, pal. One of those lights is skewed, though. Everything is built around this vine cluster. Got about a million questions about it. What was the Institute doing with it? What are those big yellow tubes doing on top? And what is it? go. Find a way.
came to Green Link to see if my father was okay, but it's been one disaster after the next. God knows where Hank is now, what his big plan is. <coughs> That's too much. I'm sick, I'm tired. Yeah, I have to go on. I can't just lay down and die now, can I? Come on, John. Gas X. Hallucinogenic warning. Why is this here? I don't like this. They're filling these rockets with the gas. Why are they doing this? hands. These documents hold important information. The wrench should be useful. my boy. It's me. You did great. And followed my big plan. I've got a way out of here and an answer to everything. Son, I'm proud of you. Always have been. Oh. Dad. Come on, son. Let us go fishing. F fishing? Yes, Jonathan. Now put on your hat. Come on now, put it on. Put on your hat, Jonathan. Don't make me come down there. <gasps> oh, fresh air. <gasps> oh, fresh air. Dad? A hallucinogenic warning. I've been breathing in this stuff for hours now. The ship... Aliens. Dad, you were there too. Right? Dad? Texts. Vegetation X was found after a meteor hit the lake. The plant produces hallucinogenic gas. Not a word on aliens, except something. Huh? What's this? A key. Making a note of it in my journal. Along with all the rest.
These documents hold important information. Some kind of... Someone was tied to this chair and beaten. A day ago. Maybe two. A recorded tape. This is Hank Morris. November 11, in the year 2020. After two weeks of crawling through ducks, I've left the alien ship and I'm home. <laughs> I'm alive, damn it! I'm uploading all the evidence I've found to my computer. I'll yank the hard drive, take it with me. I don't think I'll be returning here anytime soon. <laughs> I've got to get away, away from Green Lake, cross the border, go to Canada. I'll take the RV and drive as far away from here as possible. The government might get me first, though. Can't have that. The truth must come out. But I have a plan B, a backup plan. I'm going to call Jonathan, get him to come over here, retrace my footsteps. I have to close off the attic in case the government comes snooping around. But I'll leave clues so that John can enter, just as I did in the alien ship. Yes. I'll call John to come over to Green Lake. When I cross the border, I can call him off. Say I change my mind or something. I, I'll, I'll do that. Yes. says Hank Morris. Does that mean he's down here after all? No, I don't believe it. I shouldn't believe it. Look at all those cells. Dare I take the time to search them? Taking these. Do I have power now?
It's Hank. Oh, no. Dad? Dad! Oh, no, no! Not after everything I did. Say something. Say something. Oh. No. God, no more. This is it. God, I can't go on. I should be running, but... God, I'm so tired. Dad, how did you get here? Why did you call me? Why? Why? <sighs> Another tape. Your last breadcrumb of info? No. This is Hank Morris. November 13th, 1900. I'm out of tape. My thoughts are fuzzy. They caught me just as I was leaving the house. Didn't have the time to call off Jonathan. The secret facility. After all this time, I was right. The Institute is trying to frame me for hacking something, the environmental system. It's a lie. It's not true. The aliens must have done it. Must have. <coughs> I saw one of the guards typing in their door code. I wrote it down here somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. Two days back, they brought in loads of people from the, the village. I saw it through the window. There were people in hazmat suits. What's happening? Interrogations were rough. <coughs> I feel a bit weird. Ever since I escaped the alien ship, my vision is going all blurry. I, <clears throat> I think I'm sick. Did I inhale too much of those spores? Something, something is going on outside. There were sirens this morning. They started evacuating people. <laughs> then I heard, I heard gunshots. A lot. Now it's silent. I, I'm cold. Will, will you, will my boy come for me? Um... Out of tape. <laughs> the plants he researched ended up killing him. He's dead. All of this is for nothing. Unless... Unless I get away, get the word out, tell people what happened here, if I can make sense of it. That bomb canal, I, I don't, I don't have the time to stay here. He said, he said he hit a code somewhere. This is the code. Or just a random bunch of numbers he wrote down.
that bastard. The code works. I must get away. Tell people of this sick place. I must escape. <laughs> of agents here. Don't they know there's an enormous bomb about to blow in their labs? Like, any minute now? People used to have normal day jobs here? <laughs> this place has been evacuated recently. think all of this is just a front for what's happening downstairs not even all their workers knew Come on, damn it! Come on, come on! <laughs> oh, I can't believe I made it. Oh, the elevator will bring me topside. Oh, when the building blows, it's taking all those bastards with it. Oh, I could steal a car or hitchhike out of here. I've gotten this far, haven't I? I'll bring out the truth, Hank. I'll do it. <laughs> Daybreak. The lab could blow any second now. Run, John. Fuck all of you bastards. chest a car stop please oh my god it's a man noah he must have survived the explosion quickly call the emergency number sir stay with us you're going this to make this is noah it, veldman okay? i'm at the explosion god, site what in greenland there's a man here he's heavily wounded I failed him. Yes. Again. No. No. The journal. Okay, hold. Take my journal. Well, the man looks like he's in bad shape. Of course. Of course. Blood. Calm down. Noah. Noah. His breathing is erratic. We have to do something. Take the journal. 
Something's, something's growing out of his mouth. Noah, Noah! It's been less than a week, and I can't stop thinking about his journal. I've got so many questions. Like, what kind of experiments did they do at that research institute? What role did his father, this Hank Morris, play in all of this? And these pictures of aliens and strange plants. Is it even possible to make this stuff up? The truth could be hidden within these pages. Forget about it. The man was clearly mad. 